how's it going? There's a Star War coming. A Han Solo. I'm Ash Carlson, joined by Mike Rougeau from GameSpot. Thanks Hi. for being here. Um, fresh off the Philly win, the Eagles won the Super Bowl. Yes, keep rubbing it in. Oh, mm, 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 mm. Anyway, so if you did watch the Super Bowl, you saw that 45-second Han Solo teaser with the trailer dropping this morning on Good Morning America. And we have not watched it yet. I didn't want to get up that early anyway. Yeah, well, <laughs> me neither. But <laughs> we're up last night celebrating, celebrating the Eagles win. Anyways, um, so yeah, we haven't watched the trailer yet, so we're going to watch it right now for the first time and react to it. This movie comes out in like three and a half months, and we're just now getting the it's first trailer. It's very close. <laughs> very close. And I personally am alarmed <laughs> by that, but you know, we'll see. But let's do it. Let's watch it. <laughs> Solo, a Star Wars story. I've been running scams on the street since I was 10. It's a scoundrel. I was kicked out of the flight academy. Kicked out of the flight academy. For having a mind of my own. For having a mind of his own. Badass. School sucks. I'm gonna be a pilot. Is that him? Best in the galaxy. I think that was Lando, maybe. Oh no, they all have fur coats. Oh wow, fur coat Thank nation. You. I'm putting together a crew. That's gorgeous. What up, Woody? Um, oh! Yeah. You in? That's yes. So is he just okay. always known Chewbacca? We're gonna have a favorite droid. I might be the only person. Amelia looks good. She does. Oh! What do you really are? She's like the main character of this trailer. What's that? Ooh, they're gonna kiss. What did he just say? I don't know. I have to go back to that. Get ready. Thought we were in trouble there for a second, but it's fine. We're fine. Oh, ah! What the? What? There's always a bigger thing. <laughs> Memorial Day. Uh. That's really different from. Um, that's really different from the Super Bowl spot. Yeah, well, the Super Bowl spot like showed just like one glimpse of his face, right? Yeah, but then has the like yeah had the at the end, and it was like it was like hype. Yeah, because he was this, barely in that one. This is what Han Solo looks like. But in case you forgot, <laughs> but that one like the, I feel like the Super Bowl spot was like I screamed over like the Lando and then the the hand on yeah, the shoulder that, thing. That, those that wasn't even in that wasn't spot. even in that. Can we can we see that part again with where he said he had one his one liner at the yeah. end? Yeah. What's that? I'm on set? No, he doesn't say I'm on set. <laughs> he just realized he's on a movie set? He's like, what's that? I don't know. I'm upset? I don't know. Did, did that trailer make you more excited for the Han Solo movie? That's a question. Like, no. how did you feel before and how do you feel after watching the trailer? Worried. <laughs> I don't trust Star Wars marketing anymore because of Rogue One. Yes, completely false trailer. Right. Like, that trailer had nothing to do with what that movie was. Um, and regardless of what you think of Rogue One, like the trailer was not a good indication of what that movie was going to be. And I feel like this could very much turn up. Given that like there was, there's been similar like production problems throughout the build up to this movie, mm -hmm. and the fact that we're getting this trailer three months before the movie is out, that is really wild to me. Like I get they wanted to leave the space for between the Last Jedi and the space. The s <laughs> Wow. Um, I guess I, I guess they wanted to like force space between uh, <laughs> The Last Jedi and starting to promote Solo, but nice. I still feel like it's wildly close to the movie. I don't know. I, I also feel like because it was a Lord and Miller movie and then Ron Howard took it over and I right. get that. I still feel like I was expecting like this kind of lighthearted comedy vibe and it's it seems like very like dark gritty Star Wars. Well, if you, if you go back and like the reports that were coming out like when Lord Miller were, were out and they were looking for another director was like Lord Miller thought they were making a comedy mm -hmm. and Lucasfilm just wanted them to like add a comedic touch. Yeah. Whereas like like if you look at um, Last Jedi like it doesn't feel like a Ryan Johnson movie. It feels like a Star Wars movie with a little bit of a Ryan Johnson touch. Right, right, and I right. feel like they wanted the same from Lord Miller. Um, so I'm not surprised that this doesn't seem like a very funny movie. Like it could turn out to be, I'm sure there's gonna be like very yeah. good jokes that we're all gonna- Like all Star Wars is, is 
has right. comedy in it, but it's not like a comedy. I'm not, I mean, th this is basically the, especially from reading those reports about like, they wanted it to be more serious and just have a touch of comedy. Yeah. That is kind of the tone that I was expecting. So that's, to me, that's not surprising. Yeah. Well, okay. So they, they did release some character posters as well. And I believe some images. We're gonna take a look. That we're gonna take a look at. Sweet. So in the teaser that they showed during the Super Bowl, uh, Lando had that Jon Snow look going on. He did. That big black fur coat. Yeah. Looking dope. Ah, see, perhaps a hot take. I'm not really sure. Like, my feeling on it is, and I've said this a million times, I didn't, I'm not like super hyped for a Han Solo movie because I don't feel like there's anything about Han Solo's backstory that I need filled in. Right. There's nothing mysterious. Like, he's a scoundrel and a rogue. Yeah. Like, we get it. He is an archetype and and Harrison Ford is an archetypal actor to be playing him and like he works for that reason like I don't need to know more about Han Solo. That's why I felt and I, I liked the mystery of like did he lie to get onto the mission to Alderaan mm -hmm. like I like I liked kind of imagining my own backstory there but when you saw that shot of Lando I'm like I would have liked a uh, Lando. Yeah oh my god a Lando movie. A Lando movie like so that's a character better. that's completely like shrouded in mystery yeah. aside from what like the guy that we met it's... yep i can't wait for somebody to recut this once it's out as a lando movie oh i'm sure somebody already has because i've seen <laughs> well, I, I saw like so many tweets even last night with the super bowl spot where people were just like lando a star wars story would have been dope so much better and he's um, really interesting in this because he's like high fashion yeah. like you know sexy guy and he's look he, at that smile he keeps this pristine millennium falcon like what did Han Solo do to the Millennium Falcon? Oh, right. Yeah, he junked it. What happened? He what sucked. happened that could have been so bad that it made the walls? <laughs> <laughs> it was so, it was pristine. See, so you do have questions about Han Solo. Uh, yeah, I, well, that's the only thing. I hope the whole yeah. movie is just like what he did to the Falcon. I don't understand. Just him, just him junking the thing and landing going, oh, come on, man. Oh, you know he's going to see that Falcon and be like, <laughs> what happened? Um, yeah, I mean, that said, I'm I'm open to this movie. Like, it could, obviously, it could be, Yeah. it could be amazing. We could all be eating our words. Sure, I mean, we're, I think... we're prejudging, you know comes with being it's on called, the internet. It's called healthy skepticism. <laughs> it's called healthy skepticism. The trailer looks good. It does, it you does. Know? We have not seen Tandy yeah. yet. Also wearing fur. Big fur-centric movie yeah, here. that's like the, do you think it's cold all the time or are they just big Game of Thrones fans? <laughs> it's not Game of Thrones. <laughs> You're gonna light up the comments. <laughs> <laughs> we got Woody. Woody with the, with the. He, he kind <laughs> of reminds me of G Galen Erso from Rogue One in this. Uh-huh. Kind of got that vibe, except he's in the snow. Do you like his hair? Yeah, I think I, I feel do. like that's the main thing to focus on here because. Um, I think I think I like it. So he's playing Han Solo's like uh like, like mentor scoundrel, like teaching him how to be like a good criminal or whatever. I don't know. Maybe yeah. Maybe like Han Solo is such an unorganized criminal. Like you got kicked out of the flight academy. You got kicked out of all the stuff. Even... And he's like, listen, if you're gonna be a scoundrel, you're gonna be a good. Scoundrel. You're gonna do it right. You're gonna do it right. You're gonna get kicked out of school and you're gonna own it. You're gonna like smuggle stuff for the empire. Get a lot of money out of this. <laughs> That's what is that? What's happening? I don't know. Okay. Well, we'll find out. It seemed like in the Super Bowl spot, he was like helping out the Empire. I don't yeah. Know. Oh, yeah. There was a lot more Empire in that than there was in this, yeah. too. Yeah. This was just like, here's what all the characters look so, like. I assumed that this would be a longer version of that. So did and I. And they're like kind of different like, things. Like almost two different trailers. Yeah. Teasers. Cool. TV spots. Whatever. See, this is cool. This makes me think it's going to be have like a Western vibe. Yeah, I do like that. Definitely like a Western-y vibe. I like See, that. See, but that's, but like this, this shot is, here is like, oh, maybe there's a Western. You know what I mean? Yeah. That might not even be in the movie. This is why I don't trust trailers. Like, we don't know if it's going to have a Western vibe. I hope it has a Western vibe. That's cool. Yeah. Like, have we had a Star Wars movie with like a real Western? Like, Rogue One was like the war movie. Yeah, allegedly. I mean, you can argue it's like, oh, they're all space. Western. They're all a little bit like that, but, yeah, like but maybe this if we is like, really lean into this it. This is because... like. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is this is like what kind of gave me the indication that the vibe would be a little different because it's like very like bright, and colorful, and like I thought it'd be like this bright, colorful kind of. I don't know why I thought it was going to be like this weird '90s vibe, mm -hmm. <laughs> but that's what I like. I guess because maybe because of Amelia Clark's bangs, Kira with a Q. Yeah, Q with an apostrophe in Q the middle. Q I apostrophe R A Kira. Right. Um, I don't know. I thought it was going to have this like weird bright <clears throat> 90s vibe for some reason. And then the, the trailer's a lot darker than that. The trailer's so. pretty dark, but those, I mean, those posters are a lot of fun. And I don't know. I feel like I already know more about like Amelia Clark, like Kira. I yeah. feel like I already know more about her than I knew about like any of the characters 
in Force Awakens leading up to that, like yeah. Ray or Finn, it was like I knew the actor who played them, but like we're already seeing more of Kira, and I, I kind of enjoy with the with the story movies, with the, uh, the in between ones, that they can play a little more like fast and loose with the marketing and, and sort of tease it in a more effective way. Right? I think. Yeah, they don't have to play the uh, the secret game. Right. Which I'm very over. Although this movie's out in three months. <laughs> it really <laughs> so is. It's really crazy. Leaving it to the last minute. Any final thoughts about Solo, a Star Wars story? Yeah, do you think he looks like Han Solo? Here's the thing. I um, love Alden Erdrich, and I love him as Han Solo because we were at Star Wars Celebration Europe, and they brought him out on stage, mm -hmm. and he like comes out, and he's just like waving and talking about stepping onto the Falcon for the first time, and he he says Falcon, which is like Falcon. how that's how Han says it the first time. Okay. So it just really stuck with me where I was like, I feel like I'm watching Han Solo on stage. Like his mannerisms were like very charming and the way he was talking, I was like, this is Han. Like, do, you I was, think he, do you think he was like in character at that point? No, like he was like I, playing I, it up a little bit? Maybe, but... That's cool. Well, that's cool, but you that's an experience that you have that like most people. Yeah, you know I, I, I mean? feel like they're not doing a great job of like highlighting him because I think they're maybe a little f afraid of that. Well, not nothing that he did in this trailer made me think oh there you know what i mean you're waiting for that moment where it's like he like he is han solo right and i'm it, we didn't get it. i feel like they kind of needed to have that moment in this trailer, right and uh -huh. I, don't, I don't think they did one thing i am happy about though is that so in that image that they initially released with lord miller and they had like our first look at all the characters mm -hmm. like han solo's hair was like kind of whack and right. i'm really glad that it's you know, it's nice and quaffed and flowing, and it's, well, maybe it's the, not. Maybe that'll be part of what Woody teaches him, because Woody's hair is so great. <laughs> He's Throughout, like, he'll be like, "No, you got to get the good pomade." Right. You gotta, you gotta look the part. If you're this gonna first be. thing he says, he's like, "Hi, <laughs> what product are you using?" Because, um, so I'm glad about that. <laughs> so I'll ask you the question that you asked me first, which is, "Are you now more excited about this movie, less excited, or equally neutral?" Um, I think it kind of helped get rid of like some reservations that this movie is a total disastrous mess because we like weren't seeing anything for so long not even a still without Lord and Miller so right I was just kind of like what is the vibe of this movie gonna be like is it just gonna be this total like clunk together disaster yeah so now we can see that like there it is a film it, it is a film that exists uh, um, there are shots definitely doesn't seem like they're pushing it back to December There's... like people think they're gonna do yeah um I I think I like what I see I mean mm -hmm. I'm definitely good. like it's not like I'm like oh, I'm not seeing this movie, <laughs> not my Han Solo. Um, no, I'm really excited for it. I I don't feel like any more like wow, like I can't wait to see this story because there's something in there that's like really grabbing me. But I'm into it. Yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to it just because I I'm always looking forward to something different in the Star Wars universe. The <laughs> other, I mean, like the Last Jedi, whatever, but they often play it pretty safe. Like, I even thought Rogue One was like, oh, okay, Darth Vader shows up at the end. Like, it, like they played it pretty safe. And so, even though these are, like, familiar characters, um, I'm hoping that the vibe will be different somehow and, yeah. and we'll see something outside of, like, what Star Wars is feels safe doing. It could even be, too, like... I feel like this movie, as like, we do want a Lando movie, I feel like it's going to be pretty Lando. Oh, heavy. yeah, I mean, they like, with Donald in that yeah. role... Like, I be surprised if this movie comes out like let's say it's a huge success everyone's like talking about Lando and then they're like okay we're gonna do a Lando movie as well yeah they could do another they could do a follow-up they have so much space in which to huh, space <laughs> <laughs> space fun there's so much space in which to in which to play with these characters um and focusing on Han like you gotta remember that we're still like in the early stages we're not even done with like Disney's first Star Wars yeah. Trilogy. We're like in this the startup is, phase. Yeah, this is only the second spinoff, and we have the rest of eternity for Disney to release one Star Wars movie a year. Like, you know, right now. I think now, they're going to get up to two. I yeah. think they're going to do a May and December, like every year eventually. Oh boy. It's <laughs> my thoughts. They can do anything. Like, they, it's at the. Uh, it's at the point where they're they're getting the movies out of the way. Like, this is the one about the Death Star plans. This is the one about Han Solo. They're going to run out of these obvious ideas at some point. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, fine. Let's do it. Why not? Well, yeah, that movie, uh, Solo, Star Wars Story, three and a half months away. So this is really the kickoff point of a heck of a lot of marketing. <laughs> but uh, thank Looking you for, yeah, yeah, thank you for stopping by, watching the Solo trailer. Thank you for holding Thanks off for watching me. it. 
Um, you guys, let us know what you're most excited about. Are you excited for the Han Solo movie? Does this make you more excited? Let us know in the comments, and you can always tweet us. Our Twitter handles are right here for you to tweet us. Right. What did Han Solo say in that scene with Amelia Clark? Someone yeah. please tell me. Yeah, tell me what he said. I'm going to listen to it with headphones on, I guess. Um, There's probably closed captions on YouTube at this point. Yeah, and the Eagles won the Super Bowl. Oh, my God. <laughs> Thanks for watching.